All right, welcome back. Um, this is kind of a add-on video to my previous one, which I put iNav onto my Explorer Long Range. Uh, it's really windy out here. That's why I'm talking in my truck right now. Um, I didn't bring my um, wireless lav or anything like that. I just using my Action 2 camera. Um, and I have it in here because the wind's just gonna, you won't be able to hear anything I say. Um, probably not the best day to be flying on this, but this time of the year, you take a nice sunny, warm day, however you can. All right. Um, so I changed up the PIDs on this and my goal is to not, um, my goal is to see if I can figure out what's causing this to dip like this when I add a little bit of roll and yaw at the same time and I do this and it just drops um, either way both ways it, it so when it goes it's flying like this I give it a good good amount of yaw with a tiny little bit of roll and it just does that kind of like the what the DJI Avada is doing so I don't know if it's a weight issue with the battery um, I do know that with beta flight and the tune that comes with it from Flywoo, I don't have the issue at all. So it's gotta be something in the tune. Uh, when I put Beta Flight 4.3 on there, uh, I couldn't really, those, uh, was it, uh, the PID conversion or setting conversions didn't seem to work from uh, 4.11 that came on it to 4.3. So I just went with a, a basic tune. Uh, I think it was actually a UAV tech uh, preset when I was running 4.3 and I'm still getting that same issue. Also was doing it on uh, Emu flight and I was trying some different things with the devs of Emu flight and didn't really figure anything out with it. So not sure what exactly is causing the problem, but I'm gonna try and figure it out. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a whole lot of commentary just because of this this crazy wind that we're having right now. And I don't know how well it's going to fly because these things are not the greatest in wind. Um, especially when it's gusts, like 30 mile an hour gusts. It's not the most ideal conditions to fly in, especially if you're trying to figure out a tuning issue. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put it up and just see. I think I'm gonna move. All right, so right off the bat, so much better over here uh, in like a little corner of the woods. So should be a lot better for for talking on camera at least. There's no wind, be a lot less wind noise here. All right, so I'm gonna put this up in the air. All right, looks like everything's good to go. This is second to pick up. Where's it beeping? Shouldn't be beeping. Oh, <laughs> that's why. You gotta watch them switches, you know. Ah, uh, looks like GPS is already good. Yep, GPS is good. All right, here we go. I'm gonna probably stay around the tree line, just so it stays out of the wind. The only problem is over here, because it warmed up a little bit, course flies are back out again. Damn it. And they're hungry. This might be a quick little flight. That was promising. That wind is really hitting it right now. Uh, it did a little bit of a dip, but not too much. Well, I think I may have solved the problem. Hmm. Need to adjust a little bit more, I think. But it's definitely usable.
I'm going to show you DVR of this. It, it's like <laughs> super windy. Still likes a dip just a little bit. And black box log is going to be absolutely useless. We go up a little higher, and I want to just test just straight out roll. Rolls good. Yeah. Yeah, it was fine. Let's try yaw with a little roll. There we go. I think it's actually fixed. Perfect. I like it. I'm happy. This little uh, four inch does fly pretty good when running that big old 3000 MAH lithium ion. When, when I first received the combo, I'm like, what? Really? I didn't realize just how big the lithium ion was and how heavy it is. Position hold. Yeah, position hold's not working very well. Just keeps going up and up and up. Uh, I may need to recalibrate compass, but I mean it's pretty much hovering there, so I can't complain too much. Going down. Funny. All right. So the cool thing is, is you can actually fly with position hold. It's just not very good. It's not like a DJI, but you can do some pretty slow flying stabilized flight, as you can see here. But it's really sluggish. Oh my gosh. Uh, cool. I'll go get that. That actually was not anything to do with uh, iNav or Quad. That was all purely me. I switched it to from stabilized while I was flying and I had my uh, I had my pitch all the way forward and I hit great there goes that video okay yeah that figures um, and I blew my pitch all the way forward and I switched it over to acro and it wigged out a little bit so that was actually my my mistake All right, so I'm going to go back uh, back home, and I'm going to show you exactly what I did on this um, as far as my pit tune. Now, I'm sure this pit tune can get um, uh, tweaked more, but on a windy day like today, it's really, really hard to tell. Uh, this thing is all over the place because of the wind, so I'm not going to bother too much with uh, doing anything more with it today. Uh, but I will show you what I did and what works for me to get rid of that dip when you hit a yaw, yaw with a little bit of roll. So again, before I would do a yaw with roll and it would just go like this and, and that was that. So, all right, um, here is the iNav configs, the, the, the PID gains that I had before. Over here, this is stock. And over here, this is these are the changes that I had. Now, to be honest with you, and I'm going to be just truthful as hell here, I have no idea how to PID tune. I just don't. I, it's something that I'm working on, and it's something that I need to do. But as it stands right now, I have really 
no freaking clue how to pid tune a quad. Um, and it's embarrassing. And I'm actually in the middle of watching all of Chris Rosser and UAV Tech videos to get a better grasp on pid tuning. So, anyhow, this is stock over here on the right. This is what it comes with with the iNav firmware. And I was having issues with it causing me that that dip in the pitch when I would yaw and roll a little bit at the same time. Um, this is a pit tune that I found online that somebody else used on this exact same quad. And this is what I put into my tune. So uh, under roll, the stock was 40 for proportional. I kept that the same. Uh, integral, the stock was 30. I put it at 50. Um, derivative on both stayed the same at 23. Feel forward, both stayed the same at 60. Under pitch, uh, I changed it from 40 to 44. Integral, I changed from 30 to 60. Derivative, I changed from 23 to 25. Feed forward, stayed the same. Uh, yaws were most of the drastic changes happened. So proportional was at 85, now it's at 45. Integral was at 45, now it's at 70. Derivative, or D, uh, stayed at zero. Feed forward on both stayed at 60. Everything else I left the same. I, I didn't change anything else. Rates and Expo are completely stock. Filters, completely stock. And mechanics, all I left completely the way that it comes from INAP. 